is the poscoxy which consists of two pelvic girdle these two pelvic girdle join with each other ventrally by the symphysis pelvis symphysis mean a place where two bones are closely joined with each other and forming an immovable joint that is symphysis and it is related to the pelvic girdle uh, so that's why it is called symphysis pelvis and dorsally it articulates with the sacrum now we are going to separate these two pelvic girdle to understand the parts of the oscoxy and bone modifications on oscoxy oscoxy consists of three flat bones ilium ischium and pubis these bone combinedly form pelvic girdle and these three bones meet at a large cotyledonous cavity called acetabulum cotyledonous mean uh, a cup shaped structure cup shaped cavity that is called acetabulum now first uh, we will talk about the ilium ilium is a flat bone uh, so it consists of two surfaces lateral surface and the medial surface and three borders of the ilium are cranial border dorsal border and ventral border as we talk about uh, it has lateral surface and medial surface lateral surface is also called external surface or gluteal surface you can see that it is concave cranially and flat caudally it is just like a spoon dorsal border of the ilium is thick as compared to the ventral border now the muscular attachment on the external surface or the lateral surface is a part of the deep gluteal and middle gluteal muscles are attached here that's why this surface is also called gluteal surface now take a look on the medial surface which is nearly flat and rough first point is auricular surface uh, which you can see that it is rough and sacrum articulates with the ilium to form the sacroiliac joint sacroiliac joint is formed between the ilium and the sacrum at the auricular surface which is present on the medial surface of the ilium sacrum is basically a part of the vertebral column which is formed by the fusion of the sacral vertebra and uh, these are three in case of dog the second point on the medial surface is arcuate line this is arcuate line it is on the ventromedial edge and formed by the auricular surface to the iliopubic eminence along the medial aspect of the line tendon of suus minor is attached three muscles are attached iliocostal muscle longissimus muscle and quadratus lumborum muscle the medial surface is also called sacropelvic surface as sacrum is attached uh, here uh, that's why it is called sacropelvic surface and if we talk about the lateral surface the gluteal muscles are present over here that's why it is called gluteal surface after these two surfaces uh, we will talk about their borders as we have discussed cranial border ventral border and third one is dorsal border cranial border uh, basically it is a crust of the ilium uh, that why it's called iliac crust which is just like an arc uh, it is uh, roughened as you can see and more thick on the dorsal side than the ventral side now the second one is ventral border these two are the iliac spines cranial ventral iliac spine caudal ventral iliac spine these two combine the form tuber coxae cranial ventral iliac spine is angle of junction of the iliac crest with the ventral border two muscles originate at this point uh, that are both bellies of the sartorius muscle and a part of tensor fascia lata Uh, these muscles originate at this point rest of the ventral border is concave 
while just cranial to the acetabulum on the lateral area rectus femoris muscle is attached now the third border is dorsal border uh, you can uh, see that it is broad and massive uh, it also contain two spine similarly like ventral uh, ventral border uh, cranial dorsal iliac spine and the caudal dorsal iliac spine these two combinedly form tuber sacrale it forms the cranial half of the dorsal border cranial dorsal iliac spine is formed at the junction between iliac crest and the dorsal border while the caudal dorsal iliac spine is wide but blunt this is the greater asiatic notch which forms caudal half of the dorsal border now the last point of the ilium is asiatic spine which is present dorsal to the acetabulum now the second bone of the oscoxy is ischium which contain asiatic tuberosity table and a ramus <coughs> it forms the caudal border of oscoxy and help in the formation of the acetabulum obturator foramen and the symphysis pelvis first point of the ischium is ischial tuberosity which is present on the caudal border laterally you can see that it is thick caudal laterally and on the lateral angle ischiatic tuberosity is large and hook like while on the medial side it is rounded and here uh, on the lateral side sacrotuberous ligament is attached while on the ventral side which is very important regarding the muscular attachment there are three muscles which originate at this point that are bicep femoris semitendinosus and and semimembranosus now on the medial side of the tuberosity there are attachment of crust of penis and the muscles that surrounds the penis now next point is the body of the ischium which is lateral to the abductor foramen and it consists ischiatic spine and lesser ischiatic notch ischiatic spine is rounded crust dorsal to the acetabulum and actually it is point where ilium and the ischium meets here coccygeus muscle attaches now the second point is lesser ischiatic notch which is present caudal to the spine from this notch gemelli muscles originates now the third point uh, on the ischium is ramus the ramus of the ischium is thin wide and its medial part on the lateral side of the ramus obturator foramen is present while cranially it meets with the pubis this no this is the ischiatic table which is flat and it's also very important regarding the muscular attachment dorsally uh, internal obturator muscle originate while on the ventral surface external obturator muscle and quadratus femoris muscle originates now the third bone of oscoxy is pubis it extends towards ilium and ischium laterally while medially it forms symphysis it consists of a body and two rami body is cranial to the obturator foramen uh, while if we look at the ramus uh, there are two ramus cranial ramus and the caudal ramus ramus here is basically branch or arm of a bone uh, so if we look at the cranial ramus it extends from the body to the ilium and enters in the formation of acetabulum while cord while caudal ramus fuses with the ischial ramus at the middle of the pel pelvic symphysis now on the ventral surface of the pubis and adjacent ischial ramus three muscles originate that are gracilis muscle adductor muscle and the and the external obturator muscle now at the dorsal surface small part of the internal obturator muscle and levator ani muscle originates next point is the obturator sulcus 
इट्स ए ग्रूव फॉर द अपट्रेटेड नर्व इट इज़ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नर्व क्लिनिकली हेयर अप्रॉक्सीमेटली बिटवीन इलियम एंड प्यूबिस एज वी हैव टॉक इलियो प्यूबिक एमिनस इज प्रेजेंट विच प्रोजेक्ट क्रेनियल बॉर्डर ऑफ द पेल्विक क्रेनियल रेमस एंड हेयर अपेक्टेनियस मसल अटैचिज हेयर यू कैन सी डेट ए ट्यूबरकल विच प्रोजेक्ट क्रेनियली फ्रॉम प्यूबिस टू द मिड लाइन कॉल पेल्विक ट्यूबरकल नो दिस रफ एरिया ऑन द क्रेनियल बॉर्डर ऑफ द प्यूबिस बिटवीन इलियो प्यूबिक एमिनस एंड द प्यूबिक ट्यूबरकल इज कॉल्ड पैक्टिन एंड हेयर एबडोमल मसल्स अटैच बाय मीन्स ऑफ प्री प्यूबिक टेंडन प्री प्यूबिक टेंडन कंसिस्ट ऑफ टेंडन ऑफ पेयर्ड रेक्टस एबडोमस एंड द पैक्टीनियस मसल नो द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द ऑस्कॉक्सी इज एसीटेबुलम it is a cavity that receives head of the femur and form hip joint it is composed of ilium ischium and pubis and the acetabular bone acetabular bone is present only in the young uh, dogs and uh, incorporate after 3 months here a notch is present on the acetabulum called acetabular notch it is present on the cordo medial side this uh, and uh, this is fossa called acetabular fossa uh, formed by the ischium and the acetabular bone here ligament of the head of the femur is attached the two sides of the notch are connected by transverse acetabular ligament now the last one is obturator foramen this is closed in the life of animal by the ob external obturator muscle and the internal obturator muscle that's all this is the oscoxy of dog if you have enjoyed this video then please don't forget to like the video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos stay blessed remember us in your prayers goodbye allah hafiz